to America. Uh, that is clearly how they feel, or certainly uh, the way that they are expressing themselves. Fred Iranian lawmakers chanting death to America. Uh, that is clearly how they feel, or certainly uh, the way that they are expressing themselves. Fred Iranian lawmakers chanting death to America. Uh, that is clearly how they feel, or certainly uh, the way that they are expressing themselves. Fred. Shalom. Call hello. Yahweh. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim. Rakakodash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. The name is only begotten Spirit. Um, so I can, the Most High name is only begotten Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who taught us the truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful legs scattered abroad. Um, and I'm going to start off with um, Revelation chapter 11, verse, yeah, verse 14. It says, The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Okay, which woe means destruction, symbolic for world wars. So the second world war has already passed. And now we are on the cusp of the third world war. And you see these Iranian lawmakers, they are chanting death to America after Biden sent them six billion dollars. OK, Biden sent them six billion dollars. People are even going as far to say that this guy Biden funded this whole thing that's going on with um, Israel and, and with the, the, the Hamas thing, you know. So we're hearing about these rumors of war. Lord, I can grab that too, but real quick, I want to go into this. Um, we're going to read Jeremiah 51. Okay. And um, I kind of want to read in the NLT, but I'll read from the KJV and jump back and forth. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind, which that destroying wind is going to be ultimately thermonuclear annihilation okay those nukes um send off a blast that's going to completely uh settle this place man or level this place america gonna be leveled okay i will send upon ba uh, unto babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about so these nations are going to turn against america since foreigners will come and and winnows and winnow her blowing her away as chaff they shall come from every side to rise against her in her day of trouble right so these nations are going to all come up against america okay in the day of trouble judgment day armageddon it says um against him that beneath let the archer bend his bow which is the 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 the, the, the bow it's symbolic for the site for, for for those silos and talks about arrows which the arrows represent those nuclear missiles and um these missiles are going to be shot from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth okay it says against him that lifteth up lifteth himself up in his um um um, um it says brigadine it says and spare ye not her young men destroy ye utterly all her hosts. So it said, destroy ye utterly all her hosts, man. Okay, all her armies. And America has UN, um, not UN, um, what they got, you know, they, they're teamed up with the UN. But America has US embassies in every single country. All right. It says, um, thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they sh that are thrust through in the, uh, thrust through in, in, in her streets. Uh, for Israel have not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power, because we, we are in this land, and we and it seems like we've been forsaken, like nobody cares about us, like the Lord is not dealing with us, but the Lord is 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 ordaining our deliverance right now. He 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 is sanctifying our salvation right now. Okay, it says, for Israel have not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power, of the Lord Yahweh of hosts, 
though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. It says, flee out of the midst of Babylon. Okay, because, hey, this is how we, why we got over here. Because in our land, we, we was going off. We were trespassing against the Lord. The Lord put us in his punishment. But now he's saying, what? Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Okay. <laughs> it says, be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Let me read it in NLT. It says, Free from, flee from um, Babylon, save yourselves. This doesn't mean literally, you know, you, you go pick up a damn, you go get a plane ticket and go to, you know. But if you if you ain't the elect, if you if you are not of the elect, I, I, I would advise you to get the fuck out of America. Because if you if you have no, in your mind, you know that you ain't, you, you ain't, you know, <laughs> serving the Lord and you ain't the elect, you're going to be destroyed here. Okay, that's the only thing that, that awaits. And we're only here to do the will of Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh in hopes that we can be delivered out of here. It says, don't get trapped in her punishment. It is the Lord's time to, for vengeance, he will repay her in full. Right. Uh, verse 7 in, in KJV, Babylon has been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, which is her philosophies. Uh, her 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 um her fornications, you know. There therefore the nations are mad, okay, and that's what 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 you what you seeing with those Iranian lawmakers and all over the world. People feel feel like that. Nations are are upset. They're mad. It says Babylonian has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, a cup that made the whole earth drunk. The nations drank Babylon's wine and it drove them all mad. They, they're upset, okay. Now they want to destroy America. Now they have plans to completely annihilate this place. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her? If so be, she may be healed. Right. So America is going to suddenly be destroyed, man. Okay. Scripture says in one hour. Okay. Let me grab that real quick and I'll close out. Look at this. Verse 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. Because America is a big, a big melting pot. And these other nations here, they come over here to get, make money, to get rich. They're going to flee back into their countries, man. Okay? They're going to leave this place. That's why anytime you see something going on and, 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 and there's a conflict between two different countries, that country will advise all the citizens to get out of that, 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 that land. All right? For her judgment reacheth unto heaven. And is lifted up even to the skies. All right. So let me go here one hour. Because um, America is going to be destroyed in one hour, man. That's all it's going to take is one hour for this place to be completely annihilated off the face of the earth. And this is why you pose a fear, you about you know, Shaka. That's fast. An hour ain't nothing. An hour goes by like that. You know. Here we go right here. Let's go to um, Revelation chapter 18, verse, um, yep, it's going, it's going to the same thing. It says, um, Revelation 18, verse 7, how much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. America, and I was going to how they spend more money on uh, electricity just for AC than any country combined, just for AC here in America. It says, so much torment and sorrow give her uh, for she saith in her heart I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow because America's proud and they think that they never can, 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 can be touched therefore shall her plagues come in one day it's going to take one day for America to be destroyed man completely you know physically annihilate off the face of the earth with those thermonuclear missiles death mourning and famine and she shall be utterly burned with fire for strong is the Lord, the Most High, who judgeth her, the, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication, and lived deliciously with her. These other nations shall be wa shall bewail her and lament for her, when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Because America owe a lot of money, okay? America owe these other nations money, and they upset. They're like, yo, we need our money, you know? What they just went into what 33 trillion dollars in debt, you know? And it's rising by the day, by the minute, and by the second. Okay? So they're going to see this place be destroyed as they're trying to get, get you know, everything they, they, they can else out of America. Because America made, made these nations rich. 
it says um standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas alas that great city this the, the, the mighty city for in one hour is her judgment is thy judgment come so it's going to take one hour for these thermonuclear missiles to be shot off and completely annihilate america it's going to be raining missiles for an hour bro <laughs> okay it's just going to be raining nukes for an hour okay and these missiles they have you know a, 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 a missile can hold 10 12 20 goddamn warheads on it nuclear warheads on it man so it's, it's going to be a lot of boom 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 you know the earth shall well to and fro like a drunkard you know it's going to be like an earthquake you know it's about to get nasty and this is all bible prophecy the lord warned us of this the lord told us it's going to happen and he said hey get get your shit together you know put, put, get 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 it you know trim 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 your left get ready it says and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn why because they that's that, that's their money gone over her for no man buys her merchandise anymore anybody gonna be able to those long plants you have down there are they 12 foot long over there yeah I don't know I don't know I that's they're right. long enough to hook there. They, they might be the, 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 uh, those ones up there the one in the pole yeah yeah so lucky it says um and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her for no man buyeth her merchandise anymore so that, that's gonna be the end of America you know that, that, that's what it's all accumulating up to the complete total annihilation and destruction of America and this is the land that we just happen to be standing on so repent, see how about you know, shall you, what he may be found, or you will be destroyed with this place. Tell him I'm coming to you all about the world.